Welcome to the haunted woods of the soda jungle. Abandon all hope for ye who enter, for this will be the last time you will see Mario alive. And you don't stand a ghost of a chance in the ghost house. That is not how to make a haunted intro. What are you, stupid? So, hello there, everybody. This is Seawalt the Plant One here, and welcome back to Let's Play. New Super Mario Brothers U. So, we're going to be starting here today on the Witch Way Labyrinth. One of the most complicated ghost houses, mind you. One of the more convoluted ghost houses, actually. And the secret exit is actually not too hard to figure out if, if uh, you can believe it. Yeah, it's not really that hard. Basically, what you need to do is ride up on this platform right here on the door to the far left of the first room, then stand all the way over here, and then you'll do that. Pretty simple. It's also right here where one of the star coins is, so you really want to watch out for this particular part. If you're going for the secret exit, you might as well go for the uh, third star coin. Yeah, third. So fall down and yay. So you're probably thinking, oh yeah, we're done here, right? We're done with this ghost house, right? Well, no, we're not. We are not done with this quite yet. We still have the formal exit to go, and, or rather, the normal exit to go. And we also have the uh, other two star coins that we have to get. Of course. Why else would we figure that out? I like how the boo is covering his eyes, like... What have I done? <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Alright. So I'll lead us straight to the secret level of Soda Jungle, but we're not doing that yet, of course. Because we gotta go over here to the Witch Way Labyrinth first. So what you need to do for the first star coin is go in here. To the middle door. Or the door on the top left or something. I don't know what it is. And if you remember these enemies... Um, these guys will punch out these stone walls right here. And only by that way you'll get the uh, first star coin that's here. The second one, and, I'll, and our last one for the level actually, is not really too hard to figure out indeed. So you have to go to the door on the far right. You have to go through here through this darkened area, but don't worry. You have a yellow baby Yoshi to go through it with. And it's pretty much recommended that you keep spin, spin, spinning through this part. Just keep on spinning. That way there's no way in heck that you can possibly lose. Now go to this door right here. Uh, the bottom door will lead you straight back to the beginning. That's right. It'll lead you straight back to the beginning, but don't go in any of these doors yet. This one you can go through. However, this door you'll want to go through here in order to get 100 percent. Small burp. Huzzah. Because, check this out. We light up the room and we see that there's the star coin right there. So that's all the star coins already. So now I got no choice but to speed through this thing like mad. Just speeding on through. Alright, so take that door. And now you get into this room, which... It's time consuming, basically. And wow. Uh, the baby Yoshi certain, certainly is loyal. <laughs> Yeah, certainly is loyal to the last behavior. Now we got this slow platform here that just loves to be slow because this is a ghost house and we all love tension because this is obviously Halloween here that we're dealing with. Well, fortunately, though, this is not part 13 of Mario U, fortunately, so no bad luck here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> If you go here, you'll unlock a star. So, do that. I love how the baby Yoshi has the melody for the star theme. So, yeah. You gotta love that. And of course, I don't want to hang on to the baby Yoshi because I don't want lives. And boom. Yeah. And you don't even get points for leaving in the stars, so that sucks. It sucks. Ruined forever. No. I'm not gonna go there. So, I guess pretty much just like Sparkling Waters, I'm gonna break the norm here and go to the secret level next. Because it's right here, 
and of course we had to go a long way in the third half or the third of a uh, soda jungle here. So we got flight of the para beetles. Contrary with what what you might think, no, this level is not as hard as the one in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Because check this out, we got para beetles here, of course. However, if you jump on um. I believe it's eight in a row. You'll get a one-up every time. But of course, with me being me and avoiding one-ups, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to avoid each and every one-up as much as I can because I got skills. Now, here's something that always that I always don't get. Like, you clearly see that these small parabeetles, um, these uh, small parabeetles, um, they can clearly carry Mario. They can clearly carry Mario if we stand on them. However, the fat para beetles don't even want to hold on to Mario because he's so fat. What the heck logic does that make? And whoa, whoa, don't want to lose that. Don't want to lose that. Okay, good. And by the way, those coins in the pattern. It's not just a pattern. It's a warning. Holy, holy, holy. Look at that bonsai bill, man. Look at that. Look at that. Its eyes are moving all crazy. It's just like, hey, gee, -ish. It's being all crazy. And, whoa! 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 What the heck? Calm down! Calm down! Jeez! And haha, -ha, that one-up didn't get me because you suck. You suck, you butt one-up. Alright. There we go. Um, you press that P-switch. It'll give you a warning in advance to a bonsai bill coming up there. Also, for this, for this spawns, I built two. And, ooh, whoa, no, 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 because I need, I actually need this, uh, parabeetle. I actually need this parabeetle here. So, just go in there, and bam! There you go. You have to angle it in such a way that you can enter the red pipe, because only through entering the red pipe will you get the last star coin. It's kind of tricky to get, but, hey. Either way, I got to the top of the flagpole, and I got fireworks. So that's at least something. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Wow, I never knew there were blocks here. Jeez, I guess it's like a wall. It's the wall. The level goes on. <laughs> Flight of the Parabutals never ends. <laughs> There's got to be some way to hack that in, so, like, you could go there, but... It doesn't really matter. Either way, that will lead us directly to World 7, but we're not going to go there yet, of course. Yeah, let's let's forget a PA corn. Yeah, I'm leaving out a PA corn for a mushroom. A freaking mushroom. Yeah, that's got to be a disgrace to the Mario community, I guess. But I don't care, we're getting plenty of PA corns anyway, so it's like, what's the point? Yeah. So we got two ways here, but what do you have to say? Miiverse helped me when I was stuck. It's pr proving to be a great tool. I would agree so. I would agree. Anyway, next level, Painted Swampland. This level is not only artistically cool, but it's artistically cool. Yeah. You gotta love what the Wii U can pull off here. So, anyway, I think it's much easier with the acorn suit here. Because, let's go down this pipe. Because, let's go down this pipe, that's why. Because, as you can see, the acorn will help us out in a great deal. Actually, no, I don't think you get hit by those boos. No, you can't. So, let's get out of the pipe, and then we can move onward. And now let's keep on flying, and the second star coin already is right there. Yeah. It's already right there. And by the way, there was a secret there. And on my second run, yes, I said second run, there's a secret exit. And... Yeah. Anyway, let's get that. And... Now let's keep on going. Let's keep on trucking. And ooh! 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 Yeah, I might as well get the normal exit out of the way first, so why not? So, let's do that, and I love you, Bowser painting in the background. Holy sheesh. Holy sheesh. 
Okay, so we got that done. And whoa! What the hell? Yeah. Believe it or not, we actually have to take the secret exit in order to progress. And where's that secret exit, you may ask? Well, you'll see in a moment. Okay, so over here by this uh, arrow sign, um, you want to go over to the uh, to the right a little bit, and you see right there where that boo is to the lower part of the screen. That is where your secret exit is. So you go down this hidden little pipe, and the pointless area is pointless because Super Mario Brothers 3 Syndrome. And you go out here to this place. Woo! This way! This way, Captain. You know, I actually discovered that on my first try. Yeah, I discovered that on my first try over here. No joke. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a thing. Anyway, uh, what do you have to say? Dear Bowser, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, everyone hates Bowser. Anyway, Deep Sea Ruins, Soda Jungle 5. And already we have the volcanic underground music and it's not even World 8 yet. <laughs> what? You couldn't tell that World 8 is going to be a lava level? Well, too bad, because this is New Super Mario Brothers. You always got to have a lava world in, in uh, a, a Mario game. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a Mario game. So, Deep Sea Ruins. The Deep Sea... The Ruins part I understand, but the Deep Sea part? Well, it's actually coming up right here. Because this is the Deep Sea part. You're gonna be going over these uh, jellyfish right here, which actually I need the Ice Flower for... Whoop! Yeah! Because you are gonna definitely need ice in order... The power of ice in order to progress through here. And by the way, these, uh, you will get blindsided by those ancient ruins there, so... Yeah, you will get blindsided by them. Because this area is so dark and you can't really see any of them, unless you use your ice flower to light up the way, um, in the first place. Let's go into pipe. And we have checkpoints! And we got this big old angler fish thingamabob, let's freeze him. And now, in that block right there, is a ice flower. <laughs> that wasn't the block I was thinking of, by the way. What the block I was thinking of is right here, which is a star. So let's hurry up and swim all the way up here using our awesome swimming ability. And we won't get that, but starified, oh well. At least we got a second star coin without getting hit. And I said that as I was escaping. I'm just that cool. Anyway, um, judging from what you might think, no. We actually have two ways here. We can either go to the up, or we can go over here to get this last star coin. So let's go up here. And of course I'm just stalling at this point because, judging from the way, the normal exit happened in the painted swampland. You should know how this, how this normal exit will go about. You should know how to deal with it at this point. But still, in order to get 100%, you have to get both the secret exit and the normal exit throughout. With um, you have to get the normal exit and the secret exit in both painted swampland and deep sea ruins. So, yeah, you would have to get that in order to get that thing over there. Get that thing and get over there. Okay. Ow. Okay. So if I don't die, I will meet you guys at the halfway point of Deep Sea Ruins. May God help me if I get killed. And we're back. Hopefully that whistling didn't blow out your ears. <laughs> yeah. Ow. That's great. That's wonderful. Ow. Well, at least we got the star over here to keep us safe. Because every time I touch it, go to star, I would jump up and touch it and go. Yes, I've seen that Seth MacFarlane sh short about Super Mario. What of it? <laughs> I'm 
I'm pretty sure everyone has seen that Seth, Seth MacFarlane, like, short where he makes fun of Super Mario. Like, Peach doesn't even know Mario, and yet he sa and yet he saves her, so... Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. You should check it out. And the rumble on my controller means those ruins are being awesome. Yep. And again, it is necessary for you to get the secret and normal exits of Deep Sea Ruins and Painted Swap Lands. So, you need to do that in order to get completely done. But either way, we have booze. But let's show off a boo battle. What do you say? So, here we got the boos in their battle. Of course, we can't kill them by any conventional means, so we have to use an unconventional way, which is the star. And let's look away from them and die. And they go to die. Of course, you're guaranteed a one-up. You're guaranteed a one-up should you encounter the boos in battle. So, pretty much guaranteed that. And, of course, we can't carry any more items. Let's actually discard the star that we just got. Seriously. Because we are going to need that. Um, let's check. Uh, let's see. Do I want to get rid of any of these things? I know I need the mini for something later on. Um, nah, I think I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So, we got out of there without any hitches whatsoever. So, we are going to stop this episode here. Let's make this Miiverse post the poster for the episode. What do you got to say? Five fit times the charm. Oh, that's not a good sign at all. Not a good sign indeed. So, next time on Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U, we're going to finish up Soda Jungle and maybe get to the next world. So, I shall see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.